In national headlines, a Texas man sentenced to death for the murder of a Houston police officer is now declared innocent. The police union and the victim's wife are not happy about it, but the DA says the move was necessary. Mia Shea has the story. Some 16 years after Alfred Brown was arrested and charged with killing Houston police officer Charles Clark, Special Prosecutor John Raley says he's actually innocent, something Brown's attorney, Neil Mann, has worked towards for years. He knew he was actually innocent. We knew he was actually innocent. But for the district attorney of the county to finally acknowledge that in the very strong terms that she did today is just extraordinary for him. Brown was released from death row in 2015. He's now living in Louisiana, but the controversy over whether he is actually innocent has never waned. Today, the Houston Police Union slammed District Attorney Kim Ogg. I am disheartened and disgusted with what has taken place today. I expect, and every citizen of Harris County should expect, Kim Ogg to look at the eyes of both of these families and explain her actions to them. But Ock says her office appointed a special prosecutor to get to the truth, even if the finding is not popular. I want to tell the families of the victims that I understand their anger, their frustration. I can understand it being directed at us. That happens. If the finding of actual innocence is signed off by a judge, it would allow Alfred Brown to apply for compensation from the state. That's something Clark's widow, who is convinced that Brown is still guilty, cannot comprehend. She's going to allow Alfred Brown to collect money from the state for killing my husband. And old phone records are approved Brown's innocence. Brown's voice was recorded on a call coming from a place that was too far away from the murder scene for him to have committed or participated in the crime.